So uh, just to start, I should say my, my intentions for the call are the same old, same old. I think we just go through the board and make sure there's no, um, you know, con like, oh, what the hell? This is still broken or something like that. And or uh, make sure there's no users that say, say anything. And then, uh, you know, talk about the blog post, maybe hacking the blog post. Sadly, I have to leave in about 27 minutes. So um, that's, that's my main distraction. And I'll pass it to Lauren. Hi, um, yeah, my intentions are the same. Like I was just, I was just now opening the board being like, oh, I wonder if there's anything on the board. And um, yeah, and, and just uh, check in with the blog post. I think, well, part two is like almost ready to go out. Um, Beatrice is doing edits in the medium. And um, yeah, if we, if we have time and we feel like hacking on the part three, it's also good. Yeah, and I passed to Merlin. Yeah, so my intention is just to check that the back end is uh, okay with the front end. Uh, in fact, that we've solved the, the issue we faced uh, last week. And so maybe um, uh, Vito can help me on that. And uh, yeah, sure, checking the, um, the blog post before we release it. And no distractions. I passed to Vitor. <laughs> oh no, Vitor oh. is frozen. <laughs> Vitor is your moment on stage. <laughs> my, 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 oh. oh, you're back. Okay, my, my internet connection is bad. <laughs> uh, well, my intentions are to, yeah, work in the blog post that I did not. Uh, uh, or too much in the last week because of the dashboard, but I, I'm, I'm doing some edits right now that uh, Lauren uh, suggested, and I hope we can close it and then maybe work on the part two, part two as well and look at the issues that we're having on the, in the back end that I did not look as well. <laughs> cool. Well, let's just uh, then let's just start with the board really quick. Uh, writing blog posts, writing blog posts, uh, make play again button consistent. Merlin, you took this one on? Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, I didn't update the, the card because it was on the back end, so I didn't remember. Uh, oh, no. But the, the, the changes are on, on the front end and it's merged. Oh, nice. It got merged. Uh, yeah, and I, I also... I think I, I solved the issue, but I didn't uh, succeed in reproducing, uh, reproducing in production uh, the code. Um, I mean, uh, the error. Yeah, this one. And in fact, uh, we were doing like multiple calls to the back end and um so that one of these calls just succeeds but um we never stop so we have like an array of calls and uh, then one uh, one succeed and all the other uh, following the the first call succeed also and that's why we 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 have some notifications. Should be okay now. And this has a problem that it might take the server down because you're basically doing an attack. Yeah. Even you can. You it, it could. End. Yeah, it could overload the backend. So now it's only doing one call, and if it fades, uh, it waits the loading, uh, the sentence to load each time. And if it fails uh, during this time, it will fail, uh, fail just at the end of uh, all the sentences. But if it succeeds, then you are redirected to the results page. And we don't uh, make uh, multiple call anymore. I think it's not to, it, it can be a, a backup to do multiple calls, but I think it's more dangerous. Like if yeah, there are some people at the same time it can uh, overload the, the back end. And so uh, I think it's not uh, right. Uh, 
Man, what a roller coaster ride this conference was. <laughs> Oof. Let's see. Ah, not bad. Ah, yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So there was this one. And yeah, you you really oops. No, go back. And then is there analyze your charts again? And then there's this play again. Hey, yeah, they go to the same place. Cool. Nice Sorry. work, Martin. Thank you, man. No problem. So then I think we can close both of these issues. Yeah, I think so. Cool. And no no new issues, so we're all good there. Mm, didn't uh, look at the, the, the front end issues. There, yeah, there don't seem to be any new issues, just some like uh, dependencies upgrades, mm. but nothing major. I, I actually, do we do things with these or is it like, I just let them sit there until you want to dive into something? What do you mean? Like, okay, there these auto generated oh, okay. issues. Uh, this, it's just because they, uh, just for like uh, vulnerability just for security i can i can merge it but it's no no big deal it's more for if we had some security important things but like it's our case i don't need to have anything ultra that needs so, ultra safety but i can i can merge it but they can good, or just they for, just sit there until you decide to be working on this again right like i mean i i, I think it's fine to let them sit there until another issue crops up yeah. Cool. Well, Marco, just to get you up to date, we just tested that uh, all of Merlin's changes uh, are fixed. Thank you, Merlin, for making Phil's dreams come true uh, and uh, and fixing that major bug, too. And then, yeah, I, I think we're ready to just dive into the blog post. Did you have any intentions for the call, Marco? No. Just being here present and doing some other give it stuff in, in Figma. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think we're just going to dive into the blog post now, right? Yeah, I, I was doing some, yeah, I was doing some changes directly in Medium post, but I'm not sure if we should look at the Medium draft or looking at the Google Docs. What do you think, Lauren? Mm, well, I mean, I'm not sure. So the medium post, like we all kind of sort of did edit it already. I think it was like kind of edited enough. And then I gave Vitor a bunch of things. The thing about the editing it in medium, nobody can do it but Vitor. So we have to send him like screenshots oh, of the little really? sections. I think it would be really obnoxious. Yeah, oh, I th like I only- you, I thought it could change. I think while it's a proposed post, it's only in your medium. And then once it's online, Unless you somehow add our authorship to your medium or something, but uh, once it's, I, usually the easiest thing to do is just copy paste into a Google Doc, and then uh, yeah, yeah, and then, and then we all just hack there. Yeah, but like uh, I think Lauren gave me a few suggestions, and I think I added almost all of them. And what I need to do is more styling, like changing the images and something like that. So I'm not sure if we should like work on that or maybe in part three, because I, I think if I, if I work like more 20 or 30 minutes that I'm going to do like after this call, I think it's going to be fine to post. So maybe. Yeah. I really think the most effective use of everybody else's time, like maybe while you do the fixing in the draft and medium, it's, it's pretty good. We all looked at it last week and through before as well. Um, but part three, hasn't had so much attention in the Google Doc. So we could put suggested edits to part three and then also memes for part three. 
You need yeah. some meme support. So far, I'm making all the memes for part two and part three, and I'm just like a one girl machine. So. <laughs> Well, oh, you are um, a machine, so I, I I'm just working out. <laughs> um, They've been okay. They've been okay. But I think the memes can be approved upon, especially for part three, and we can add a few more. I sent the link to the doc in the chat. So anyone who wants to take a look for maybe even just the next 15 minutes, and um, yeah, let's hack. Cool. Let's do it. Does, where does part three actually start? Uh, it starts on uh, page 12. Yeah. Somebody's an anonymous dolphin. Is, is that you? Oh. Yeah. Or you, you sent me a DM saying that you changed like, uh, the part between from here to here. And should I copy and paste and change that part? Yeah, I would copy and paste it because there was like a number. Of, I did like a number of. Um, awesome word edits Thanks. but yeah take take a read through as well and i put some commons feature okay. as well on that section so maybe you can take a look Also, I have a question for part three. Um, I think we need, we need to put like a banner image in part one. The banner image was like a screenshot from the common simulator on the assessing global impact. Um, and then in part two, I, I suggested to Vitor to put like the, the hands holding the earth thing where it's like CAD CAD, you go back in time with CAD CAD from the intro. And I'm out of ideas for part three because already like the opening slide of the common simulator was used for the first blog post by Jeff. So part three needs to be something along those lines, but another different image. So if anyone has any ideas. Maybe the, uh, I really like the one of the, the end maybe, because like it's the last, last post. Ah, um, the end. Close it. Yeah. Like the two, like the one image with the two futures, because you're getting there. Yeah, that oh, yeah. could use the actual original artist's image. That would be nice, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, sure, yeah. I, I think don't know. We put it... I don't know if it fits well on a banner, but 
Yeah. It's really cool because it's a person looking at both options, right? And so it's kind of a... I put the picture in part one, like as just an image in part one, not as the banner. And I thought about also putting it as a banner and, and Danny Bell was like, let's put our art instead rather than somebody else's art. That art image is all over the internet. And mm. it was also a kind of a good point. Yeah, that's fair. So I guess with a, a happy future, the, a, a good score, maybe Vitor's perfect score. Vitor's perfect score. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, that would be funny. But yeah. But we can, we can easily fake it, just like inspecting the page and changing the number. I did not do that, but you can. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't do that, huh, Vitor? Oh, no, no, I, I did it. I did it like real. Yeah, 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 yeah. We believe you. I wonder if that's what. Can you do that? Is just anyone? Can you just like take that and change that number? and inspect the image and like anyone could do that or is it only because you're the you have no just... anyone could do that anyone could do that but i really did not do that i really no, no. i really but, but I you wonder, can i wonder if anyone yeah. has been doing that on twitter you, you can mm. make like a, a thousand one score oh. Ooh. <laughs> that would be pretty funny my prams are so good i broke the common simulator
Uh, Lauren, I was really just about to, since we're here, uh, like you added like uh, co initial contribution in that the part that you changed, right? Mm. At your initial contribution. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Yeah, you you were meaning like the money that people put in. Uh huh. The total money, right? Um, not, yeah. not the money deducted. Yeah, because like contributes. We are looking at Hatcher initialization, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the initial investment is... Oh, yeah. The initial yes. Hatcher. Uh-huh. This might be misleading because, uh, like, the money the Hatchers invest in are is randomly distributed. And then, like, this is one thing. And then the contribution that goes to the funding pool is a percentage of that. So it's, it's a distribution as well. So it's some distribution. But then I think we should not call the amount of money the hatchers put in as contribution because contribution to the hatch is just a percentage and the rest is like investment or something like that. So I'm, I'm gonna add some, some suggestions on that, I think. Okay. So did you say that like a part of it is a contribution the other part is an investment hey Vitor, i think he's talking to you yeah i i wasn't totally listening but i wanted to make sure can you repeat what you said about like the hatch the hatchers part of it is an investment and part of it is a uh, donation or something like that no, just because like we, I think the way we were phrasing it, we were saying that the, all the money that the Hatcher put in is, a contrib is like the common contribution, Hatcher contribution. But I was saying that I think the Hatch, con the Hatch contribution is like the total the Hatcher put in times the percentage that he, is, is the money that goes to the penny pool. This should be the contribution. And the total yeah. money should be the investment, right? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, the, it, I feel like it's more like the whole thing is a co-vestment and that's how we've been framing it is that it's both. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you pay taxes on your investments. Is the, is yeah. the taxes, the profits that you made that you pay taxes on, does that mean, is that a donation? You know, it's like, uh, no, you made investments and now you just have to also pay this thing. Or if you go buy a meal you also have to pay a sales tax or something like that. You know, it's like, you don't say, oh yeah, I, I paid for this and this tax, you know? Uh, so uh, we've been we've been framing it uh, in the common stack as a co-vestment where it's both an investment, but it's more like an impact investment. And you know, like, yeah, a portion of your money in the back end is doing some magic or something, maybe whatever i'm throwing in a hundred bucks and it's a co-vestment you know like that you don't think about the this is yeah this is how we're framing it yeah i, I think makes sense I, I think like i think makes sense and it is the way that you're framing it like in the whole 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 but thing but i'm just thinking okay. yeah but i ju just thinking that like given that frame how do we differentiate the money that the hatch put in like the total money and the Hatch tribute. So like the, how they call the total money. The total money, yeah, that's the well that's the co-vestment, the whole thing. And then like the portion that goes to the we've been saying this like uh there's a percentage of the funds that goes to support the economic functions, you know, the economy, and then there's a percentage of the funds that goes to actually create real value you know, the direct impact. And then, and that's kind of the, it's like, yeah, guess what? Both are important. <laughs> surprise, surprise, you know, the economy is also an important thing, you know, and to back the, um, to, what do we say? Keep the fly willy, flywheel spinning, you know? Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. But that said, I, I, I am not reading the section that you're in, so the context, is, you know, that's the larger context, but of course, go with it how you will. No, yeah, I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense to add this way. 
Thanks for the explanation. Uh, so I'm going, I have to run to the next one. I'm going to go hang out with Angela from the token engineering space and try to get her to be a hatcher. And, uh, but uh, I'll assign Lauren and you guys can keep going. Cool. Bye. Thanks, Griff. Bye. Thanks, Griff. All right.
I was trying to think in a way uh, that, that you, Lauren, you added a point there that it, it was not that clear how to, in the hatch initialization, the augmented bonding curve initialization, it was not that clear that the, how it was defined the specific token supply for the price. But I was thinking if we should add the, the equation, I think it's maybe too much because it basically says that we expect the token, you have a desired token price, a spot token price, and then it defines a specific token to supply to, to add this price. So I'm not sure, maybe adding like something like uh, a desired token price defined is... and a specific token supply is created based on the total reserve. Yeah, so wait, uh, basically, I, I just didn't really understand what it meant. So it's basically like an initial, initialization. You're setting the token price and you're setting the token supply. And that's like based on the inputs or it's just always the same. It's because you have a spot, like you expect one token, one token price. And then like in the bonding curve, it is defined by like the curve is defined by uh, what is your current reserve and what is your current uh, and like where's the supply of tokens and the reserve that, it, that is backing it. So depending on like how much you have in the reserve, you need to have more or less supply to have, you need to have more or less tokens to me to, to have, to have it. Okay. Like your, yeah. So basically it just defines like how the bunning curve Happens. Why don't why don't we just say that this is like this is dependent on the the amount allocated to the reserve? Yeah, yeah, I think it's simpler. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe if we just change like according to the bunning curve, maybe like uh, let me think like a desired token price is defined and a specific token supply is created to keep the price according to the a month of money curve and the total funds in the reserve. Maybe like you could just be like, yeah. Maybe like that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah, I think it makes yeah. sense too. We don't want to get too much into detail. Yeah. I added some suggestions above. If you could yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Awesome.
Guys, I'm going to drop now. Thanks, Cheers. Marco. Thanks. I guess I probably have to get, get out to, to lunch, but I'll keep working on that because I'm sorry. <laughs> Is okay, it okay? Yeah. Uh, I didn't find any things to, to change. I think it's good uh, as it is, so. Cool, awesome. Okay, so I guess we'll just end the call. And Victor, just let me know if you want me to look at yeah. part two before you send it out or yeah. if you have any more questions. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I will. I will just change the change what you suggested at the at the the section in there again, and then uh, mm -hmm. I, um, I will ask you to look it again. But after that, like, uh, I will ask you how pro because I have never done this before. But I have to publish in my mine and then republish in common stack. Yeah, I think you like hit like submit, but then there's an option to go to like submit to or publish, and then it's like an option to submit to common stack. Oh, but um okay. we can do it together you can share screen awesome if awesome you want. Um, better, better. yeah but make sure also the the formatting i sent you like a million telegram yeah, messages yeah. and a lot of them were just like make this a header make this a section break yeah yeah yeah, yeah sure i gotta i gotta change it and change the formatting as well thank you so Perfect. much for the help. okay yeah no worries thank you both and i'll talk to you guys later cool. great bye, -bye. bye. Ciao.